Jack here, superintendent of Hawker County Public Schools with a remote edition of One Hard Question. I've got to make this quick because you can only send a file of a certain length back to Falker County. But I wanted to answer the One Hard Question that was sent uh, just to, so I'm remaining consistent. And uh, the question is, Dr. this is from Kyle, says Dr. Jack, why did our county schools close on Tuesday, the week of Veterans Day, instead of Friday, the day set aside for families to be together and honor the sacrifices and services of our friends and family and loved ones who defend our freedoms? Uh, and then there's a, there's an additional section, but again, in the interest of time, I uh, won't be reading it. But thanks for the question. The answer is pretty straightforward. One, we couldn't have school on Tuesday, Election Day, because uh, uh, we don't we we don't have the space for it. We, it's impossible for us to have school on um, on um, Election Day, mainly because of parking. We have we have abysmal parking situations in many of our schools. The majority of our schools are polling places. We just simply can't do it. We we uh, had intended to be open last spring for the primary election and there was a, a firestorm from the community about why we were having a school open on that day so we ended up closing so there's no way we can have a school open on election day um, just not not feasible uh, to the second part of your question just please keep in mind every one of our schools uh, provides a meaningful recognition of veterans i attended a couple myself friday uh, where veterans are actually uh, invited in uh, they're, they're honored, they're recognized by students, they're very emotional um, exercises, very well done. And it's a, in our view, it's a more meaningful way to recognize veterans because we understand if you've done this long enough, we understand that some parents, you know, they'll, they will take their students or their children out to services, recognition, ceremonies, et cetera, in D.C. or in other places. And I think that's great. We all think that's great. Those were excused absences, by the way. We've mentioned we've uh, been very, pretty, very consistent with that in the last four years. Uh, so no problems there. We respect that. But we also understand for the overwhelming majority of students, if they're home on Veterans Day, they're, they're not going to be involved in any kind of recognition. They're going to be home, they're going to be sleeping, and they're going to be watching TV. So this is a more, uh, a more meaningful way to recognize our veterans in our view. Lastly, I would just say we passed a two-year calendar last year. There was a, a reading. There was a public hearing on it. No one spoke um, about any days being on or off um, so uh, but we'll, there'll be another hearing on the calendar probably sometime after the first of the year parents are welcome to come in and, and share their views about being open or closed on veterans day that's that's certainly the uh, something the board would uh, be interested in hearing uh, in terms of the views of parents so that w that'll be advertised and um, that'll be an opportunity to share views uh, with the school board uh, and that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful to you, and hopefully I'll be able to get this video to go through the email system. Have a great day. Thanks.